Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you all about the product database that AMZ Scout offer. Because AMZ Scout offer two things, or well, they offer lots of things, but they offer the product database, um, which can sometimes get confused with the Chrome extension tool. So in this video, I'm going to do a full breakdown tutorial on how to use the product database and how we use it to actually find successful products and make a killing with Amazon. But before we get started with the video, don't forget to leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, then subscribe, because we bring out videos all the time and they're really, really cool. So let's get straight into this video. In this video, I want to talk to you about the um, AMZ Scouts product database. And I also want to address why it's different to the Chrome extension and why they're both so important to use to actually find a product. So a lot of you are probably using the Chrome extension or know what the Chrome extension is, but maybe you've never heard of the product database, so you don't actually know what it is or what it's offering. So let's just quickly do a brief overview of the Chrome extension, just so you know what that is. So the Chrome extension is, um, well, it's in the name, it's a Chrome extension, but basically you will go onto amazon.com or Amazon, whatever the Amazon is, whatever part of the world, and <clears throat> you'll search for a product and you'll click on the extension and it'll give you all the information regarding that product. Um, so let's say you search for umbrella um, and you click the Chrome extension, it'll give you all the information regarding all the umbrellas in the listing. Okay, so the Chrome extension is amazing if you have a list of product ideas and you want to see if they're any good. Now, the product database is slightly different. The product database is there to actually give you that list of ideas, to help you build up a list of ideas. Because a lot of people who go into this don't have any ideas of what product to sell, they don't know if they're good, they don't know anything about anything, okay? So the Chrome extension is all good and it's, it's amazing and everything, but if you don't even have a list of products to put into Amazon and, 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 um, and analyze with the Chrome extension, then you've got to start somewhere and that somewhere is the product database because the product database actually helps you um, procure a list of product ideas. So we're going to head over onto my computer and I've got the screen recorded. So I recorded the screen, this is the product database. So you'll see there's actually a few, a few different things. You've got the product tracker, the Chrome extension and the keyword explorer. In this video, we are literally just going to cover the product database. I'm going to tell you how to use it. Um, the different criteria that you should tick when you click add filter, you'll see everything comes up, what you should put in there, and then how you can use it to your benefit. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, you want to just click the go to product database and click add filter. And then from there, you want to um, select certain categories. So we're gonna go through each one. So um, no to appliances, no to arts and craft. We are going to go to beauty and personal care, yes. We're gonna go to um, Health and household, yes. Home and kitchen, yes. Kitchen and dining, yes. Um, office products, yes. Patio, lawn and garden, yes. Pet supplies, yes. Sports and outdoors, yes. And that's about it. Okay, we're just gonna keep it very specific. You can do other of the categories. I like to keep it very uh, dialed down to specific categories. The next thing you wanna do is the price. So we're going to go from $15 to $35. Okay, so we only want products in that price range showing up. Uh, we're not gonna worry about net. Rank, we don't want the rank to be over, well, this is the BSR, I've spoken about this in other videos. We don't want the BSR to be over, let's say 1,000, let's say 2,000. The estimated sales, we're gonna leave blank. The estimated revenue, we're gonna leave blank. The estimated, or well, not the estimated, the reviews, we're going to put a max 350. The rating, We'll leave that. The weight, we're going to put at one. Let's see what measurement they do it in. If it says, it doesn't say. So we're gonna say one, I'm assuming it's in pounds. Number of sellers doesn't matter. Listing quality, first doesn't matter. First fifth doesn't matter. Product tier, standard, oversized, doesn't matter. I guess we should, well, no, we're gonna tick, tick standard because we don't wanna be selling large, large products because we'll have a lot more Amazon fees. And then seller type, we want FBA. So once you have all this criteria, okay, and again, you can you can put whatever you want in here, in, in this area, but this is what I personally put in to find successful products, and I've been selling on Amazon for many years now, successfully. Um, so these are the, some of the criteria that I would follow. And I want you to do that, click apply, and a whole range of products should come up. So you can see these orange thingies. And then what happens is we have everything pop up, okay? So I unticked health and household because it wasn't really 
it, I, I really didn't need it. Um, so you can see all the things you have here, right? And what does this show? This shows tons of random products that all meet the criteria. And what you would do is you would use this in conjunction with the Chrome extension and you would have amazon.com open, okay? And this is, this is how I would personally work. So I would go through here and I'd see water, a windproof umbrella. Um, so it looks like a travel umbrella, it looks quite small. Price 17, that's perfect. Um, weight under a pound, perfect. Reviews is two, so that's really good. So this looks like it could be a good product. So what I would then do is I would go to Amazon, I would search travel umbrella. Okay, and I would use the Chrome extension, right, to find out deeper information now because I would write a list of product ideas based on the product database. So I would get a piece of paper, I'd do it on my computer, I'd write travel umbrella, I'd write thermos, I'd write um, a tie down straps, I'd write maybe goggles, um, carrying case, a food jar, great, a food jar, that's a great idea. Um, there's tons and tons of stuff, right? And once I've done that, I will go to, I would go over to Amazon, okay? Don't need any of the tips. I would go over to Amazon and I would look at the information here, okay? So I would see the average rank, I would see the average price, I would see the results, I would see the net margin, and then I can make um, a calculated decision based on all this information if I want to start selling the product. So you can see, I can see the number of views, 89, 2. Um, this is a sponsored listing, by the way. So <clears throat> the first one has 5,000, 2,500, so that's quite a lot, but then it goes to 4,240, and then it goes back to 2,000, but there are quite a few low ones, 23, 9, 96, 9, 37. So there are quite a few products with low reviews, okay? Then we have a look at the prices, we have a look at the ranks, so we've got 10, 97. 452169, so that's pretty good. There are some very high ranks as well that we have to consider. So, if this product is no good, what we'll do is we will exit out of the Chrome extension and we will try the next product. So, whatever the next product would be. So, let's say um, tie down straps. We can try tie down straps, right? Once you've searched for that, we can then do the Chrome extension with this product. So, you see how I'm using the product database and the Chrome extension together to really like find good products. And here you can see the number of views is 410, 53, 446, 472, 176. That's better. We can also see the rank 271, 423. The rank is also okay. There are bits where it's not so good. And we can see the price. The price is always pretty good. 20, 30, 12, 25, 16. So that's also pretty good. So what we would do is we would just create a whole list of products based on this. And we would just keep going and going and going with as many products as, as it can show here, right? And we would just have a list as long as possible. And with that list, we'll go to Amazon and really like dive deep into individual products because on this list, it will show you lots of different products. You can see it goes from umbrella to, to goggles. I know there are a few goggles, but then it's got the food, thermos, food, uh, what's it called? A food jar. So you can see it's got random products, but we need to find one good product. So with this list, we can go to Amazon and we can really find out all the information we need about this product. So that is what the product database is. If you haven't used it, or you haven't signed up for it, I highly recommend it. I personally use this to find product ideas. I think it's great. Um, so yeah, that's what the product database is. If you have any questions about the product database or why it's different from the Chrome extension, or if you have any confusion, let me know in the comments down below and I'll happily answer them for you. Maybe even make another video with a better explanation if need be. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.